Hey, fourth grade. So this video is going to walk you through the activity called pouring paints on your math part of your menu. So in this activity, it's a word problem. So let's start by reading the word problem together. Pouring paints. At the end of art class, six tables had leftover blue paint. The amounts are shown below. And this picture I just went ahead and put over here, made it a little bit bigger so that you'll be able to see the fractions on the video. The art teacher asked Marie to combine two cups of paint into her empty cup. Her cup is the same size as the ones on the tables. Which containers could Marie combine into her paint cup without it overflowing? Show your math thinking using tools, pictures, words, or numbers. So in this word problem, we are going to have to be combining different fractions, two different fractions together to build a number. So that sounds like addition to me. So I think we're going to be adding fractions together. Now I put together some reminders for you to think about as you are completing this problem. Remember that one cup makes one whole. So in order for your problem to work, the two fractions that you add together cannot be greater than one whole. So if your bottom denominator, if your denominator was 12 and you're adding something to it, the answer should not be greater than 12 twelfths because that would be one whole. Because remember in the word problem it says, which containers could Marie combine into her paint cup without it overflowing? So your answer cannot be greater than one whole. And the next part I wanted to remind you of is that I noticed that in these fractions, none of the denominators are the same. We have eighths, we have thirds, we have tenths, we have fifths, we have twelfths, and we have fourths. So none of those denominators are the same. So if I want to add two of those together, which I'm going to have to do to find my answer, I know I'm going to have to find common denominators. You find common denominators by finding the least common multiple of whatever two denominators you are adding together. So keep those two things in mind when you are solving this problem. Make sure you're using scratch paper to show all of your work and all of your thinking. Now this would be a good problem to use pictures for. Maybe you want to draw what two eighths and one third would make together in one cup. That would be an excellent thing to draw. Just make sure that you are showing your work and showing your math thinking. All right, guys, that is how you solve the pouring paint section of your math menu.